Hi friends, Paul here. Are you a fan of wood? Well, stay with me here for this exciting presentation about cedar wood, or what we commonly think of cedar. True cedar is in the cedrus family on the right side of this image, which is indigenous to North Africa, as well as some Middle Eastern countries, and the Himalayan mountains in Northern India. And it is in the pine family whose trees feature needle leaves. Think of pine needles and cones. They're cone bearing. On the other hand, what we consider cedar in North America is either of the thuya or juniper um, genera. The, and they're very similar. The thuya yeah, juniperus genera as well as the cedrus um, genus are very similar in that we're dealing with resin resinous conifers. Now, thuya and juniper are both in the cypress family, which is distinct from the pine family of true cedar. The cypress family features flat, scaly leaves. So compare that against pine needles. And there you can see the difference between the cypress or a key difference between the cypress and pine family. Another curious distinction for you woodworkers out there is that true cedar is actually quite hard, about 1060 on the Jonka scale, whereas eastern white and western red cedar in the U.S. is pretty soft wood. And um, it's actually closer to pine or spruce. However, what's interesting is that the juniper varieties are actually closer to true cedar in hardness. The juniper virginiana, for example, is 900 on the Jonka hardness rating. And junipers generally grow kind of gnarly, you know, so they're really cool for landscaping and kind of give that visual effect. Spanish cedar is not a true cedar. It's actually in the mahogany family. And it's a semi-deciduous tree. It's used for guitar tops. Checking out the map here, you can see that Cedrus atlantica, or what's commonly known as Atlas cedar, um, grows in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco and Algeria. There's a species called Brevifolia on the island of Cyprus off the coast of Turkey. And Cedrus libani, which is the probably the most famous cedar associated with the Bible and King David's palace and Solomon's temple. That grows in Lebanon, Syria, as well as Turkey. And Cedrus diodara is the Himalayan species. A very curious story about the term arborvitae. If you're in landscaping or have a home and you're landscaping with um, cedar or arbor vitae, you've heard this term. In Latin, it means tree of life. And it got that word through um, French explorer Jacques Cartier in the province of Quebec in over the winter of 1535. His men were dying of scurvy, which is due to a lack of vitamin C. And after some hesitation, the local Iroquois tribes um, saved Jacques Cartier's party by um, giving them some presumably eastern white cedar leaf tea, which brought all the men to good health because it's very high in vitamin C. So this tree was called arborvitae or tree of life. Whether it's true cedar or the thuya or juniper varieties or the Spanish cedar, all of these trees, uh, wood here, holds mystical, magical properties throughout history and very utilitarian properties as well with its rot resistance and insect repellent qualities, as well as is just its aesthetic beauty and the wonderful fragrance that comes out of such resinous wood. What do you guys think? Are you fans of cedar? Post your comments below. And thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.